it only became possible from just like because of the energy they were putting out into the world like what makes this so sick is we were like hey if we're gonna fail you guys are gonna watch us fail but we're not gonna fail and here's how sick it's gonna be i think what i love most about stuff like this is like it's just so genuine and it's like real and we're kind of just doing it because nobody else is and that's the cool part about it and are putting together a like we have 24 hours to basically plan the dopest show that we possibly can um, we started like an hour ago. At 7 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. we're in a thrilling concert at 7 p.m. the following day. So the goal is to entirely plan, book, and coordinate an entire concert in 24 hours um, and do it entirely for free. Guys, the meeting starts now. Woo. The clock has started counting down. We have 24 hours to throw this thing. As of right now, we have no artist, we have no venue, and no one is coming. We have 24 hours to change this. So, we legitimately do need to post this on the Instagram, though. Yeah. So, should we do that? I'm I'll show the that. camera. Actually, so so we decided we are literally going to try to throw a concert in 24 hours with mm -hmm. that and a free ticket. So, Wait. yeah. Now we can actually get it finished. So, I have some thoughts of how we should organize it, but also just everything that we haven't been allowed to talk about this week, like, what do you guys think? Do you guys have any thoughts of how we should organize this, or? Yes. Yes, okay, what are your thoughts? I think, as we were talking before, obviously, like, there's three things we have to focus on, and that's how we get people there, the venue and the artist. I think we yeah. should prioritize those three things to begin with. Yeah, yeah. real quick, I, I do want to say, because if we get an artist, that easily the fans can be figured out you know like, oh, we also I mean. don't have to like hard pitch for a particular artist we can call these people that have these connections and be like here's what we're trying to do do you have any ideas yeah because like I right now we're just trying to throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks yeah, 100 so let's just let's just list out artists that we have some sort of contact to or yeah let's just go through and like put all of the artists greek oh hills. mj's calling me yeah, right greek now could be crazy bro. of illusion hills really can i answer yeah hey what's up bro Yeah. Wait, 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 start over, start, start over. What? Start over. Oh, uh, I said, I saw the Live 2 post just now. Do y'all need a performer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, it, even if you guys can't perform, you can still come over. Yeah, right? yeah, either way. Just come over, we need help. Alright, see you brother. Okay. Yo, what the <laughs> fuck? That was crazy. <laughs> That's gonna seem so staged. Oh, wait, bro. Oh. That was so real. Legion Hills are some really good friends of mine. They are a six piece boy band that makes hyper pop rap music. They're crazy performers. They yeah. play. And I gotta send you guys this Lalo link so that people can sign up through the text. Oh, I already shared the about it. Okay. So we have Illusion Hills. I'm waiting for Joey to hit me back. Yo, I'm gonna repost the story in like two minutes, but uh, we're trying to throw a concert in 24 hours. We're trying to plan, throw, and attend a concert in 24 <laughs> hours. We don't have an artist, we don't have a... All right, no response to my story yet. The interest. Nico, how are you, brother? We're, we're uh, trying to do a 24 hour thing right now, as you saw, um, open to any ideas slash information slash locations slash artists that you think could be dope that you have connections to. Yeah, it is a big ass spot. We have a big ass backyard, um, respect to show you. Yeah, let's see that. Yeah, let's see that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, anyway, wait, you want to bring it over to the yeah. camera? Yeah. Yo. Sick, dude. Sick. Is that a golf or a... That's Yo. A dude, what the <laughs> fuck? How, do, how are we like 20 minutes into this? <laughs> I'm checking the Lalo right now. We've had 14 people text in already. Yo. <laughs> let's go. Bro, let's post yeah. like a monster one. Yeah. I'll show you. Let's keep moving though, because we... Yeah. yeah. Let's, yeah. Should Probably we call yes. Iguayaka? I'm calling Kellen Simpson. I've talked to him before. He manages a really sick artist named Iguayaka. Um, and I know, now that I'm thinking about this too, as I'm saying, they are actively looking for shows, to the best of my knowledge. Um, and he does rock with what you do and what I do, so, and what all of us do. So this could definitely be a option. And I will call him right now. Hey, Kelly, how you doing, bro? Hey, what's up, dude? Doing good, man, you're good. Um, question for you, it's a strange proposal. <laughs> we don't have an artist, a venue. We, um, we're collecting phone numbers right now through Lalo. 
Um, we've already got 20 phone numbers in an hour. Um, less than, or less than an hour, like 30 minutes, to be honest. So sure it's part, of, it's part of the pop-up series that I think you and McLean were talking a conversation about. Yeah, awesome. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Sure. Talk to you later. See ya. Your phone oh, is a gold mine. Wait, so, so <laughs> what'd you say? Your phone is literally just a gold yeah. mine. Oh. He's so, I'm so impressed with how good you guys are at, like, getting the, like, just yeah. speaking your mind. Fuck. We actually have to <laughs> And we actually care, you know? Yeah. It's so easy to tell people are genuine or not. It's, like, mm. so easy, I feel like. Yeah. Hey. Helen Simpson. Hello. I'm not the merge to call with, with, with all the Hello. How are you, brother? Nice to meet you as well, man. Great to talk to you. Um, we tasked ourselves with like an impossible thing today. We said we're gonna try to throw a concert entirely in 24 hours. We don't have an artist, a venue, any sort of plan, and um, we're just kind of throwing everything out there, throw everything at the wall. So we wanted to see if one, you'd be interested by chance, um, and then two, if you had any resources or anybody you think would be dope for it. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds tight. I'll be, I'll be down. I'll just, yeah, I'll be down. But yeah, super excited to rock out. We'll keep you guys updated. Alright, brother. Yeah, thank you guys. Talk to you later. Alright, word. Come on! Oh, that was so good. Fucking go! Yo, we just locked Iguayaka. 30 minutes ago, and we have over 20 sign up. Like, what's yeah. your MJ's calling. Okay. Hello. Bro, you're such a legend for rocking with this. Thank you, dude. This is like, yeah, I'm so excited, man. What up, MJ? What is good? What up, bro? How's it going? Chills. I'm MJ. Nice to meet you. Oh, How are you? How are you? Thanks for oh, pulling through last minute. Legend, man. <laughs> yeah. um, to update you, we have Igwe Aka Lock. You guys like are down. Yeah. And then we have a backyard. We yeah, serve my friend Nico's and talk French fries. Yeah. Then we shoot like high. Yeah. Okay. Like we're going for headliners though. Okay. Sick. That's where we're at. People that have texted in now. So. <laughs> okay, here, let's do this. Let's make a list of businesses or types of businesses that are open lane. So, like, things that there's a chance. Okay, so like bowling alleys. Um, I would do a show at a bowling alley. It's the green. We're not on the lanes. <laughs> <laughs> thought we would. Then he thought we would. Then, Dude, no, what's up? Dude, I reached out to a couple people at a venue, but I saw you guys might have found one. Yeah, we, we got a couple potential options. We got one for sure option, but we're looking at some other places too. Um, okay, so we got we got Illusion Hills and some of the, the Illusion Hills boys are over here with us now helping also put this together. We're all brainstorming that kind of headliner type spot now. So if you got any ideas, we're, we're open to them. Let me think on some potential ideas and reach out to some people and uh, let me see what I can do. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, like that's why it's like basement or warehouse or like a store that's a something is like. What kind yeah. of thing can we call that is like a store, a Costco, or, or like, or like something <laughs> like like some sort of DIY right. type space? Who is this? Yeah. What's up? What up, buddy? Wait. Yeah. 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 Confirmed a lineup. We have Pity Party Girls Club, Iguayaka, and Illusion Hills. I mean, yeah, we could come right now. You want to come right now and see the spot? Yeah. Could we? Um. Yeah. Sure. Fuck it. All right. Could you send me that? I just will be there in 25 minutes. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, brother. All right. We'll see you then.
How's it going? Yeah, Welcome to lady. the Crenshaw Castle. Uh, I feel like I'm at home now. 76 Don't miss that. Dante. Yeah, that's what's Dante, should we just use Dallas? Yes. 100%, I think. Yeah. And then people would come in theoretically like through there, correct? Yeah, yeah. 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 We have yeah. 210 phone numbers so far. People have texted Golly. in. Golly. So full disclosure, right. it, it probably might be a, a, some more than that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that's... That's the, the one thing. It's gonna be a lot of people. Yeah. What if we put the pallets here, bro? At least two. Oh, no, yeah. like a, yeah, like out yeah. this yeah. way. Like a, kind of a catwalk. I got a catwalk. <laughs> yeah, like a catwalk. Pallet and just. Whoa, that's cute. Like, how can I, like, do the craziest things possible that, like, 16 year old me would have been stoked on yeah, if yeah, I was exactly. looking at 21 year old? Wait. Is it like a challenge? Like, expected. do other people do this? Or, like,. Just us. Just <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody else is, is that crazy. It's just <laughs> us. <laughs> but yeah, it's new MTV. Uh, yeah. We're kind it's of building a network of shows. So this is one of them where we're throwing like the craziest concerts in the craziest ways we possibly can. So this concert was like all put together in the last 24 hours yeah. for tomorrow. Actually, last uh, six. Yeah, we started <laughs> yeah. six <laughs> hours ago. Hours. Yeah. 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 Bro, tomorrow's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we man. just like literally spent all night just cool the anticipation builds, but the reason that we set out to do this in the first place was because we believed that we are able to do it. It's like all of us are just a bunch of like kids trying to do crazy stuff. Crazy shit going on. So if you give people a reason to like get outside and go do something crazy, like people really come together around it. And uh, I think that that's what we managed to tap into here. And uh, that's why it's special. This timer started 24 hours ago when this whole event came into conception. The concern is no longer will people show up, it's are too many people going to show up. And in a minute and 40 seconds, you're gonna see something beautiful created by the beautiful folks putting this evening on for us. If you just go out and do crazy enough stuff, like other people are willing to help and, and lend a hand. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. Hello? Hello, is anybody there? I honestly don't know if there are 10 of you guys in some basement somewhere or if we are, if we got 500 people that we somehow convinced to join us in a field. We honestly have no artists, no venue, and nobody coming to this show yet, and we only have 24 hours starting right now to figure it out. So, please put your hands together. The show is beginning now. And now you're all set. Got me playing against the wall I like Sam Hoffman Deleting all your pictures So I forget your face Glitter pumping through my veins Yeah, I'm in a better place And I owe it all to change And I owe it all to change Got me playing against the wall Well, that's what happens when you try and throw a show in 24 hours, apparently. The uh, lights cut out like three minor times. And the, yeah. Major comeback. Minor setback, major comeback. And I'm like, okay, show in 24 hours. I was like, what if we made a song in 24 hours? And McLean, McLean didn't know, or I'd like try to keep it. Like, nobody knows about this. We made this 24 hours ago. Yeah. 24 hours ago. Hey, this one, it come with my little dances. A lot of them. Hey. hey. Okay. Fuck it up, huh? Fuck it up, huh? Shout out to the city of Sacramento to be amazing. Shout out to too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Bridge. You know what I'm saying? This first song is called Step On You. Yeah! 24 hours, baby. 24 hours. Come party with me. Last night of the night, let's turn up. This song is not a lot 
For the last several years, I've wanted to be at the point where we have enough people that believe in it to where we can do stuff as crazy as this. Like, it really feels like now we're at the point where by doing that so many times and continue, like, even if we failed in the past, like, just that delusional self-belief brought, like, other people together. And, and now we have enough people to share that opinion to be able to do stuff like this. So, my younger self is definitely very happy and very much so alive in what tonight is, for sure. I think my younger self would be absolutely jeered at what I'm doing right now, but not even because of the size of it, just because of the fact that I'm doing it. Like, I think I could be failing at what I'm doing, and nobody could show up, and my younger self would just be juiced that I'm here because I'm trying. You know. Yeah, the fact that we pulled this off already is, in my opinion, a very impressive feat by everybody that was involved in this. Give me the damn microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real one more thing to do before we're gone. Hey.